lot of challenges facing AEC professionals. The first one, there's too much work and there's not enough people to do the work. So that puts a lot of pressure on the people who are still working in the industry. Another challenge is the advancement of technology and modern design tools means there's a very steep learning curve for the professionals left in the industry. Another challenge is that all kinds of people just left. They either left because they retired or they left because of the great resignation after the pandemic. There's just been a whole lot of churn and change in the industry. So that leaves a lot of challenges for the people who are are now coming in, there aren't as many people to learn from. I think when it comes to opportunities, each one of those is kind of an opportunity. Uh, because as people leave, that opens the door for people coming into the industry. So I think there's much more of an opportunity to find a job, even if you need a, a flexible schedule. Now the world really is your oyster. I think also that both technology firms and companies themselves are doing a much better job of training. I think they have to because attrition has been high and turnover is happening so fast. It's really important to get really good at onboarding people. And the other thing that I think is exciting is because there are new design tools and new technologies available, people get to learn new skills. I am a huge proponent of remote working and, and I think it does help because it cuts down on commuting, it cuts down on all of the emissions from commuting not to mention all of the time. There's also things like the use of drones and remote inspection to help with safety and not require people to hang off the side of a bridge or, you know, rappel down a dam to look for cracks. So that certainly helps with societal responsibility and safety, as well as making sure that people are keeping an eye on assets, but not visually. Bentley is moving to a much more data-centric way of looking at the information produced by all those design files. I think that the iTwin experience and the iTwin capture and iTwin IoT will all help facilitate remote working and virtually disperse teams as well. So if I'm an engineering firm, if I can leverage that information somehow, that's a whole new line of business. It could be that as an engineering firm, not only do I design and create the digital twin during the design process, but I offer as a service to operate that digital twin and keep it evergreen through the life cycle of the asset. So I think there's lots of different new business opportunities for engineering firms.